Go 10, break away, and number two, Brooklyn, here's a five talented all around cowgirl. Number two, Brooklyn. You're wondering why she's going after him with that second loop to really state that it must drop down over the nose. She reaches out there. Not going to happen tonight for Laura. Unfortunately, we have to say no time. Is he chasing the cop? Okay. Hey, I work for Kips, you know. Yeah, that's a lot of running for a clown in my shape. That's, that's not true. You have muscles rippling all over your body. You look, you look like a Chippendale dancer with a t-shirt. I'm, I'm telling you. That's, yeah. that's, that's the story I heard. Yeah. I just hope that was a girl screaming. I think so. That was me. Somebody was in my eyes. Somebody play, <laughs> plays with a deep bass. not funny. Alright, we're looking right now at Alexis Perk, he is a junior from Little Club, Minnesota. Nice. Right there it is. And the time for Alexis is going to be an 8.94, 894 for Alexis. Nice look. Let's go to Mayor Minnesota right now to a freshman competing at her very first high school state finals rodeo. We look to Morgan Delco, daughter of Sean and Jackie. Now here's a cadre we watch in the junior high ranks do very, very well. I'm assuming she's going to do just as well as she moves on up into the high school division. Watch her in the barrels, the poles, but we're based in the cutting as well. A 2016 and 17 national qualifier, the reserve national world champion barrel racer. Let's see if Morgan can get done on a beautiful Friday night. They just barely missed that catch of that nose by just a whisker. She is quick to drink out the spare line, you might say. Get them on their side. Yeah, but then they don't break away. Go, go. Oh. Well, I hate to say it, but it is going to be a no time. There is a 30 second time limit in this event. That time did expire. No time for Morgan Delco. Well, where are y'all been? We didn't really think about you. He has no idea I'm talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> Completely oblivious. <laughs> you could have called or texted or something. <laughs> All right, we're looking right now at Ryan Mendick. He's a senior. How about a time of 4.74474 for the young lady? Whoa. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, what are these guys out here is waving his hat at you, you know? He's putting that oh, on. I, you know what? I hate to say it, but we talked about it. Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't we, do it. We, I have to. We talked about that barrier. We caught her leaving just a little bit too early. We're going to give her a speeding ticket, a 10-second penalty. So that 474 just turned into a 14. Hey. 
seven four. It's all right if you ain't first or last. <laughs> you just watched Talladega Nights, didn't you? No, I just have an incredible ability to remember stupid stuff. <laughs> Sad, strange little man. <laughs> so true. Oh my God. So right? My mom says the same thing. Yep. Ah, uh, we go to our next cowgirl up. We go to Myla Fawn. Here's a freshman from Little Falls, Minnesota. So close. Well, it's going to come empty on both loops. That means it'll result in a no time for tonight. Chase Our next cowgirl is Cora Borman. Here's a senior who goes to school at Connections Academy. Now, I need to brag on this cowgirl just a little bit. She comes in here this weekend with a broken collarbone. Now, we watched her compete in both the cutting and in the range cow horse competition where these, she did quite well. Now she came in this morning in our slack into our goat tying and I was wondering how in the world is this young lady going to do things with a broken collarbone? Well not only did she accomplish it but she holds the fast time in the goat tying as well. So a little thing like a broken collarbone not going to slow this tough cow girl down. We'll see if she can put a fast time Onto the board. Who once again we're trying to beat a 4-1-8. 4.8. Alright. Here we go. Whoa! Oh! Well, she killed up empty on both them loops on that first loop. She missed by mere inches. They carry 35 foot of rope, and I bet if she would have had 35 foot three inches, she'd have had a rope, and I hate to say it, but it will be a no time for Cora tonight. Hey, all I know is that girl roping and go time and rodeo with a broken collarbone. I do not want to meet her in the dark alley. Tough as railroad <laughs> iron, I'm telling you. Oh my my goodness. Goodness. Dude, I, I think I peed a little just when you said that. Like, I'm not scared of her. I, 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 can, I can believe that, and, and she gives you very good reason to do that. Yeah. Damn. If I had a broken collarbone, I'd, I'd need a maid and a bell service and everything. You would be a lazy boy in front of a large screen right now. I would be. I'd be worthless. Well, I'm a clown, so I'm not really worth much anyway, but... I'd be worse than normal, I'll tell you that. We're looking right now at a sophomore from Asante, Emma Pankin. We'll watch her in three events this weekend, breakaway goats and poles. Riding an American Pan Horse. Most of the contestants you'll watch here this weekend are ride those HQHA animals. Some of them will ride a good look at American Pan Horse and they'll get the job done equally as well. And the time that'll come in for Emma Abs in 2771. 2771. Get up as a step 14. Yeah, but she's in third just for catching her. Here's a category that we have watched as a national qualifier. We watched her do it in 2016 in the breakaway roping. So here's something that she is very familiar with. As we go to Katie Hannigan. A sophomore from Pine River. Now here's a cowgirl besides being an exceptional athlete, she's also very academically talented as well as she is on the honor roll. She's a January student of the month. Nice. Did you ever get student of the month? No, no <laughs> I did not. Well that's a shame because you were homeschooled. Oh. All right, let's see. Let's see if she can get there. Oh. Oh. 
No time for Katie. That will take us down to the final breakaway and row for of performance number one. We're going to a cowgirl who makes her home in Lake Elmo. Goes to Stillwater Area High School as she is a senior, Caitlin Potts. She runs a breakaway goat time, pole bending, barrel racing, as well as trap and light rifle shooting. Watch her, Alan. She is a light rifle shooter. If she can't rope, you and tie you down. She's a shooter. That's a fact. There ain't no running from these girls in Minnesota. You might as well just give up. Well, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you something else that she does. And, and it's not kind of only found up here in the Northland. And that is log rolling. She is a log roller. Hey, wow. I can't see you've never been to a log rolling competition in Kansas. I have never oh, seen no. it in Kansas. So close. They don't have water in Kansas. Go, 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 go. We got tornadoes. <laughs> Oh, oh. I think we should have a log rolling competition next year. Look, I'd love to see it. I've never, I've watched it on TV. I've never seen it in person. Friends, do me a favor. Give that young lady a big round of applause as she exits out of our arena tonight. Well, that is going to close the break right down to performance number one. The fast run of tonight's performance was an 8 9 four. That was thrown in by Alexis Bortlesberger. The fast run of the weekend still a 4.18. We bring in our champion of performance one behind the banner of our friends at Gist Silversmith.